Yeah, they've been dealing with flooding rains there in southeast Texas. Meanwhile, in South Florida, we haven't seen too much rain here for the past several weeks. We continue with some rainfall deficits across the area. Good to see at least a few sprinkles that continue to move in across the map. We had a couple showers earlier this morning. Not much left over. We still have one little shower that's continuing to track now quickly off to the west the southwest branches as that now moves inland. That's going to be kind of the pattern today and through the weekend. We keep with these spotty chance for a few showers in the morning. All of that being shoved inland and west thanks to high pressure to the northeast of us and those winds coming out of the east that will remain a little bit breezy at times. Boy, could we need the rain though? We certainly have now uh, some drought conditions to monitor across the state, the Florida Peninsula. This is the latest from the drought monitor that was updated yesterday. Moderate drought now developing across the Treasure Coast, Palm Beach County. We even have some abnormally dry conditions now developing in portions of northern Broward County. So at this point in time, the rain would be helpful. The good news is though, rainy season now just 12 days away. That kicks off May 15th, and that's when, on average, we start to see more of a summertime storm pattern uh, begin to kind of take shape with some of those heavier downpours uh, then developing each and every day that we see in the summertime season here in South Florida. For the rest of today, though, mostly dry. All the moisture will be focused out across the West Coast. We will see a little bit more of that creep in for the weekend. So we see those rain chances tick up ever so slightly for tomorrow and Sunday, but the pattern here is still going to be similar. Highest chance for showers, focus in the morning, and then all that pushes west westward and inland by the afternoon, leaving us with dry afternoons and drier evenings. That'll be the case today for your Friday. Happy Friday, by the way. Here we go. You can see all the shower cha uh, showers there really focus out to the west of us. Our coastal areas, lots of sunshine to end out the day. Same kind of thing for tomorrow. A few showers to start your Saturday. All that moving inland, leaving us drier for your Saturday afternoon. So if you're heading out to Hard Rock Stadium for Formula One, not bad chance for a stray shower for the early afternoon hours for Saturday and Sunday, but shouldn't have any issues with wet track for those racers. 85 for today and tomorrow we keep with highs in the middle 80s into next week. We keep it mainly dry as well with just a chance for a stray shower.